everybody, Kate from New Line. We are continuing our frequently asked questions and troubleshooting series here going into computer settings and extended mode. So I um, have some videos on doing this in a Windows device. Now we're talking about uh, going in and doing this for your connected Mac device. You may have caught uh, under our New Line cast, our wireless screen sharing, on Apple AirPlay, you can actually do this wirelessly should you want to do that. Um, but we're talking about it when you have your computer actually hardwired to the panel, meaning you have it connected either by USB-C or HDMI and a USB touch cord, because then really it does give you, it gives you the full enchilada, it gives you the full experience. So I'm gonna pop into my MacBook Pro. Uh, I have it plugged into HDMI 3. So I have an HDMI for audio and visual and the USB for my touch. And so here we go. Um, my computer, again, it's right now um, by default, it's mirrored. So you can see uh, what I'm seeing on my computer is exactly what I'm seeing on the panel. Uh, but for those of you who've been like, ooh, I would really like to have something different up on the panel for everybody to work with, or maybe I'm prepping for a presentation and I wanna have my PowerPoint up here, but I wanna finish up some last minute emails and I wanna keep things going as I'm waiting for everything to get started. Yes, you have that ability. And these are gonna be settings in your personal device. So as I said, we are looking at a computer right now. We're looking at a Mac. So where would you find these settings in a Mac computer? You're gonna to wanna to find your dock. Uh, for me, I put mine over on the left side. Your dock could be up above or it could be down below. So just know, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the same thing. It's just different orientation, which is which is of course an option that you have, it's in your computer settings, but the icon that I wanna work with, it's gray, it looks like a gear. Uh, those are your computer settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a little tap -a and open that up. And again, you can see I'm doing this with my finger. When you do have your Mac hardwired onto the panel, it really kind of turns the panel into an iPad for your computer. So really, really nice to have that touch experience. Uh, but if you wanted to, again, go into extended mode, let's talk about that and your option there. So all you would need to do is go into displays because, of course, we want to work with our display options, our computer display and our new line display. We are going to be changing display settings. So we'll go ahead and pop in there. So now what we're doing, uh, we're mirroring. Uh, so my MacBook Pro, which is... My main device, that's my computer. I'm mirroring it for the new line. Two things in here, mirror. I could choose to stop mirroring and go into extended mode. And the other question I get, as folks get connected uh, to the panel, they're like, ooh, my, my icon's got really small. Uh, you actually can change that here. You can see where it says larger text or more space or whatever it may be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just click larger text. And now you can see just how much bigger everything got. Uh, so if you are somebody that would like to adjust that, I'll say it comes right up when you're working in your display settings. So it makes it very easy. It's all in one spot, which is amazing. So what I'm gonna do now, um, instead of going to mirror for new line, I'm going to stop mirroring. And so now what it does, you're gonna see the very attractive uh, extended mode background, but nothing is there. All of my content, let me we'll lift this bad boy up again. Uh, so I'm wiggling all of my all of my cords, so I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, everything is on my computer and nothing is showing on my panel. And that's because this is my extended. So if I wanted anything to be up on the panel, I would just have to slide it across. And you're gonna be moving to the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shuffle something from my computer up to the panel and you can see how this works. So uh, let me just kind of pop down here and I'm gonna take some screenshots and move them over so you can see I'm doing this. Uh, there we go, I'm gonna open these up just so you can actually see what this looks like, uh, which will be fantastic. Slide that over. Here we go. Um, so these are my settings that I'm actually looking at on my main computer. I just took a screenshot to make it a little bit easier for you to see. So once you stop mirroring, then you can do extended display, mirror for new line. Uh, you can choose your main display and all of that kind of great stuff. So I'll uh, say so you can look for this. This is where you can adjust stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pop back down into my settings on my Mac. 
Again, this is just a screenshot so you know what I'm looking at, but I'm gonna go ahead and I can switch things around. Um, so I can go back and forth making the primary. If I wanted to, I can actually make the primary the new line. Uh, and then my touch will follow here. Get that handsome fellow, isn't he cute? Um, but anyway, if I do that, maybe I want, you know, if I'm working in an environment where I want my students to still be able to come up, maybe they're doing games or, uh, you know, station rotation. But again, I can do something different on my computer. I absolutely have that capability. Or maybe I have a PowerPoint open here and I like that touch where I can slide between all of my slides and again, have something different going on my computer. So I just made the computer, the extended and the new line, the primary. So hopefully that makes sense. Just to recap, if you want to go into extended display in your Mac, you're gonna go into your settings, you're gonna choose displays and you have the option to mirror or you can go into extended mode. Your touch will follow your primary display. So I just set the new line as the primary and my MacBook Pro was what I extended to. So that's why I have um, my full touch capability over here. Let me go ahead and close that. And in here, if I wanted to go, there we are. Uh, my MacBook Pro is my extended going into my new line. That is my main display. And then that's why I have my touch here. Can switch those back and forth. And now I'm back to extended mode here. And if I want to go through and continue to mirror, all I would have had to do is just choose that mirror option. And now I am back to mirroring everything that I have. So all of this stuff, full capability, personalize it the way you want to. You run into trouble. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are absolutely here to support you with whatever you need. And I hope you're having a great day. Talk again soon. Take care.